Hello. It's uh, Thursday, June 18th. And this is my weigh-in. Very well. Oh! <laughs> Last week wasn't that bad. Um, Weight-wise wasn't that good at all, actually. Um, this week, my weight is actually... I'm actually up. Um, I have a gain of 1.6. It's just weird. You know, my first week on YouTube here, and I'm gaining 1.6, but... I have... I think I understand where it came from. Because I spent, like I said, like I posted, I spent three days trying to figure out how to post the last one. And so I didn't, I didn't really get any extra than that much. But it's okay. Me and one of my roommates, we are going to be starting uh, P90X soon. I'm hoping this week. Um, I'll talk to him. With the, we'll figure out what to put into our schedules and everything. So. We went biking last week. It's been a long time since I've biked. <laughs> I, I haven't rode my bike. Probably just about two years. I guess I went for a bike last week. I was hurting cardio wise like crazy. Now, I know I have asthma, so that does play a part. But I know that it is my cardio as well. I know some people who have asthma back in high school and uh, they would use their asthma as an excuse <laughs> to to not do anything. I don't think <clears throat> asthma is an excuse to not exercise. Yes, <laughs> you might not be able to push yourself as hard as everybody else because of it, but you can still do it. You know, you just have to go your own pace, go your own intensity. Don't focus on anybody else. Do what you can do. Don't bother with anybody else. Because yes, the asthma will hold you back. You cannot, you can't run as much as everybody else. You can't do as much cardio as everybody else because of your asthma. But you can still do it. Do it to your limits. Push your own limits. Don't push their limits. Don't go to their limits. Push your own limits. But. I've had experience with that a lot. It's been a quite a few times. I have pushed myself past my limits in the cardio department, and I paid for it. I know that I do not do cardio unless I have an inhaler on me. If I don't have my inhaler on me, I do strength training. But if I get at home, I go, okay, I'll do strength training today then. I do not do cardio unless I have an inhaler on me. I do not want to risk it. It makes perfect sense, you know, but I don't want to risk it. I'm not taking that chance. Last video, I forgot to mention my goals for this whole thing. Um, my goals are a little different than most people's. Um, I don't have a specific weight goal. No, yeah, I would love to be in the 170s. That would be awesome. But, that's not my goal. Because, the number on the scale to me, it doesn't mean much to me. What the number on the scale means to me is how my progress is going. My goals are inches. Um, right now I will have a 40 inch waist. Um, my goal is I would like to be down to a 34 waist. 
Um, I am currently in a 34 pants. Like I said in my last video, I went down from a 36 to a 34 last year. I would like to go down to 32 pants. And my other goal is to drop down to a large shirt, at least large. I'm extra large now. If I'm smaller, if all those measurements are smaller in the end, fine. That's the starting point. That's my first goal. Then I want to see if I don't, you know, if I fail I can go farther, I'll go farther. But I feel like those are realistic goals, and I'll see where I go from there. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I would love to be in the one set, mainly for wrestling. Um, if I could drop down to the 170s, that would be awesome. The weight classes for wrestling around the 170 mark, uh, we got the 67 kilogram weight class, which is about a, just under 170. <coughs> and you always want a 2 kilogram weight advantage, uh, or weight range, I guess. So it's 76 to 78 kilos, 167 to 171 pounds. I could that one, or I could go into the 82 kilo weight class, 82 to 84, which is 180 to 184. Some it depends on where I am. If I'm in the high 170s, I'll just bulk up a bit. If I'm in the low 170s, I'll have to lose a little bit more, you know, type thing. So. I'm hoping, <laughs> I don't really want to go down to 167, that just, I don't know, 160 just seems so low to me, for now. Like I said, when I'm down to one, you know, when I'm down there, I'll see what happens, but it just seems so low to me, I'd rather be in the 82 kilogram weight class, or 180 pound. Any questions or comments, please ask, leave the comments below. Um, I, lo I would love video responses. I will see you all next week. Bye.